Contra, that American dude holding a big machine gun on his chest, carrying that huge kilogram of weight to bring the justice to the society. Isn't that awesome? I always wonder why run and gun games are known as run and guns, where the game like Russian attack is not known as knife and run. Like, I always wonder why, because the guns are special or something? Or I could say, guns represent America, right? America! Alright, I'm just kidding. But you guys will be so surprised that there are like so many run and gun games on Nintendo Switch. And you will be surprised, like there are so many of them. I'm going to take a look at them in this video. But before doing that, do not forget to subscribe or hitting that bell icon because man, the inflation is rising. We gotta feed our kids, right? So come on man, don't forget to do that. Alright, let's get started. You're up! On number 10, we have Cuphead or Mugman are the two adorable little cup fellas on a sugar-filled quest to make good on a bad bat with the devil. Sounds simple, right? Well, that's wrong. This delightful cartoon dream turns into a hilarious bullet-dodging nightmare. Imagine running through a watercolor painting while a giant potato chases you with a vegetable pillar. That's the kind of wacky fun you are in for this game. The visuals are like a living rubber horse cartoon, all bouncing and colorful. But the gameplay, oh boy, the gameplay. This is a run and gun boss rush where every boss is a unique and hilariously monstrous creation. All with the vendetta against this porcelain protagonist. Prepare a parry bullets with your head, dodge flying cows, and question every life decision that led you here. It's tough, it's frustrating, but overcoming each crazy boss feels like winning the lottery with a cherry on the top. The music is like a toe-tapping jazz symphony that perfectly complements the chaotic action. You will be humming these tunes long after you rage quit, and then come back for one more try. Cuphead is like that friend who constantly pranks you, but you cannot stay mad because they are just so darn charming. It's a beautiful challenge, a hilarious lesson in preservance. A must-play for anyone who appreciates a good old-fashioned side-scrolling romp with a side of existential dread. Just remember, don't gamble with the devil, kids. Maybe lay off the sugar before you're playing this one. At number 9, we have Gun Crazy. This game is a love letter to a classic arcade shooters, offering a side-scrolling rampage with vibrant pixel art and thumping retro soundtrack. You mow down ways of enemies with satisfying arsenal, dodging bullets with a beautiful bullet of awesomeness. The controls are tight, the action is frantic, the bosses are massive but like a firecracker. Fun frizzes off last. Bravity of the campaign and lack of level variety might leave you wanting more. However, for a quick score fix, Gun Crazy hits the spot. It's a fantastic nostalgia trip for veterans and a solid introduction genre for newcomers. Just don't expect an epic adventure. It's short, sweet, explosive bust of fun. On number 8, we have Weapon of Choice DX. This game is a side-scrolling run-and-gun delight that injects a hefty dose of variety into classic formula. Forget bland soldiers with the boring rifles here. You choose from a roster of unique heroes, each packing a wacky and devastating weapon. Zuck Z soars through the air with his jet engine gun, raining fire while propelling himself forward. Constant throws electrified knives that chain reacts to enemies. The sheer lunacy of weaponry keeps the combat fresh and exciting. But Weapon of Choice DX isn't just about blasting everything inside. The level offers branching paths and multiple endings, encouraging exploration and replayability. You can tackle stage with different characters, each experiencing the level in new ways. Discovering hidden paths and uncovering secrets adds another layer to the fun. While the hand-drawn art style is charming, the short campaign might leave some wanting more. The difficulty can be more unforgiving, especially for newcomers to the genre. However, for thus seeking a fracting and varied run and gun experience, Weapon of Choice DX delivers. With its unique characters, branching levels, and explosive actions, it's a wild ride worth taking for any run and gun enthusiast. On number 7, we have Xenogunner. This game is a love letter to the challenging side-scrolling shoot-em-up of the 16-bit era. It throws you a headfirst into intense boss battles, demanding quick reflexes and mastery of your character's abilities. 
While the stages are short, they serve as a mere stepping stones to the true test, which are the bosses. Each encounter is unique, visually stunning, throws a relentless barrage of bullets and attacks your way. Learning every enemy patterns and mastering dodge mechanics are a key of overcoming this formidable force. Xeno Gunner offers a surprising amount of depth. You can choose between these two playable characters with each distinct playstyles. Zeta the King focuses on the ranged combat with various weapons, while Alita the Bodyguard utilizes a high mobility, close quarter approach. This variety keeps the gameplay fresh and caters to a different flavor preference. The pixel art graphic oozes nostalgia, perfectly capturing the retro aesthetic. The soundtrack is a pumping mix of techno and heavy guitar riffs, perfectly compelling the frantic action. While the story is simple, Zeno Gunner is a challenging but rewarding experience for fans of classic run and gun games. Don't get fooled by this charming looks. This is a game that will test your skills. If you crave a steep difficulty curve and boss battles that demand mastery, Zeno Gunner is a retro game waiting to be unheard. On number 6, we have Spider Source. This game is a wild run and gun adventure brought to you by the team behind Contra 4. It injects a dose of absurdity into the genre by pitting you against nightmarish spider dinosaur hybrids. You take control of either Victoria, the punk rocker wielding a mean guitar axe, or Adrian, the officer in training packing a variety of firearms. Each character has a distinct playstyle, adding a replayability. Blast your way through six sprawling stages filled with monstrous enemies, dodging attacks and unleashing a colorful arsenal of weapons. Spider Swords embraces classic run and gun mechanics. You will constantly be on the move, jumping platforms and navigating hazards while laying waste. While laying waste enemy hordes, the game throws a variety of projectiles and enemy patterns your way. Developed by WayForward, Spider Swords boasts a vibrant Saturday morning cartoon aesthetic. The animation is fluid, the enemy designs are delightfully monstrous. The soundtrack is a catchy mix of punk rock and cheesy action movie themes, perfectly complementing over-the-top action. While the story is simple and difficulty can be uneven, Spider Source offers a fun and a fronting run and gun experience, especially in a co-op mode. If you're looking for a challenge and a good laugh with a blasting mutant spiders, Spider Source delivers a unique and entertaining romp. On number 5, we have Bite the Bullet. This game throws a unique twist into the classic run and gun formula. Here, you are what you eat. In this chaotic world, enemies are not just obstacles, they are walking buffets. Devouring foes grants you power ups and unlocks a new skills, and even transforms your characters based on your nutritional value. You blast your way through vibrant post apocalypse levels, dodging bullets and unleashing a hell of gunfire. But the real strategic layer comes with enemy selection. Do you go for a protein packed mutant for a health boost or divert the irradiated robot for enhanced firepower? The culinary combat adds a layer of depth to the fast paced action. You will be constantly evaluating your enemies, strategizing your meals, and adapting your playstyle based on your evolving character. The pixel art graphics are charmingly chaotic, the enemy designs are delightfully awesome. The soundtrack is a frantic mix of electronica and rock, perfectly complementing over-the-top action. While the difficulty can be unforgiving, but the limited continues and permadeath, Bite the Bullet offered a satisfying loop of learning, adapting, conquering each brutal stage. Unique to eat to evolve mechanic keeps the gameplay very fresh and exciting. If you are looking for a challenging and innovative run and gun experience with a quirky twist, Bite the Bullet offers a delicious or sometimes disturbing adventure. Just remember, you are what you eat, so choose your means wisely, kids. On number 4, we have Contra Operation Galuga. This game is a return to the form of the classic one and gun franchise. It throws you back to the boots of Bill Breezer and Lance Bean blasting your way through hordes of alien soldiers and monstrous bosses in side-scrolling extravanza. The gameplay stays true to its roots. You will transverse diverse environments from steamy jungles to alien bases, constantly moving and shooting to survive. The iconic spread gun and power-up is like homing missiles take a welcome return, keeping the action frantic and satisfying. While the core gameplay loop might feel similar to veterans, Operation Galuga offers a surprising amount of new content. New weapons like the laser rifle add strategic depth. 
The branching level paths with a multiple ending encourages replayability. The pixel art graphics are the love letter to the 16-bit era, bursting with colors and detail. The soundtrack is a remix of classic Contra tunes and new action. While the story is a simple alien invasion plot, it serves as a backdrop of the true star, the gameplay. The two-player or co-op mode adds another layer of fun, allowing you to team up with a friend and take down the alien minions together. Contra Operation Galuga might not be reinvented. Contra Operation Galuga might not reinvent the wheel, but it delivers exactly what fans crave: a polished, challenging, and awesome run-and-gun game. On number 3, we have Clash Force. This game throws back to the golden age of 8-bit run-and-gun platformers, taking inspiration from classics like Mega Man and Chippendale. It offers a challenging and nostalgia-fluid experience. You choose from these three heroes, each with its unique abilities, and blast your way through vibrant, pixelated environments. Despite the difficulty spike, Clash Force is a charming visual and catchy soundtrack win over some players. The 8-bit graphics are a love letter to the retro gamers, and music perfectly complements a fast-paced action. Ultimately, Clash Force is a love letter to the classic run and gun platformers, while the difficulty might be a turn off for some, but those who crave a challenge and blast of retro nostalgia might find it enjoyable. Just be prepared to face a steeper difficulty curve in the later stages. On number 2, we have Blazing Chrome. I'm calling all my retro fans and shoot 'em up enthusiasts. Blazing Chrome is a love letter to the classic run and gun games, bringing back to the side scrolling action we all know and love. It's like stepping into the time machine, with more smoother control and cranked up difficulty that will keep you coming back for more. Get ready to team up with a friend and fight your way through a world overrun by the robots. This action is intense, with the bullets whistling and explosions lighting up to the screen. But do not worry, the controls are super tight, making and dodging shooting like a satisfying dance. While the main story is flyby, there is plenty to keep you busy. Unlock a new character with unique abilities, challenge yourself with the boss rushes, test your skills on a different difficulty levels. Blazing Prom is not afraid to throw down a gauntlet, but conquering those challenges feels incredibly rewarding. The visuals are pixelated trip down memory lane, perfectly capturing a charm of 16-bit era games. The soundtrack is pure adrenaline, pumping techno and heavy guitar rips that will fuel your tight against the robot minutes. The story might be simple, but it sets the stage for the truly matters, the fast-paced action and epic boss battle. So if you're looking for a challenging game, friendly retro revival, Blazing Chrome is the game. It's a perfect blend of old-school nostalgia, modern tweaks offering a delightful and rewarding shoot em up experience. Just grab your controller, team up with a friend and get ready to a blaze a good time. On number 1, we have Super Cyborg. This game is like the cheesy action movie you watch on a rainy Saturday afternoon. Totally ridiculous, sometimes very frustrating but ultimately a world a lot of fun. You play as a cybernetically enhanced warrior. Think of a Robocop meets a He-Man, blasting your way through mysterious island crawling with bad guys. The controls are tight and shooting feels satisfyingly chunky. But to be warned, this game is not afraid to throw enemy hordes and bullet hells on your way. You will be dodging lasers, leaping over explosions and feeling like a total action hero right before getting blasted into the oblivion. But hey, that's half of the fun. Each death is hilarious, learning experience with unlimited continues you can laugh it off and dive back into. The graphics are pure retro godness with blocky characters and environments that ooze 80s charm. The soundtrack is a synthastic masterpiece that will have you humming cheesy action movie tunes long after you put down the controller. The story, well, let's just say it's there. It's about as deep as Pearl, but honestly, who cares? You're not over here to blow up the stuff. Not to win an Oscar, right? Super Cyborg is not going to win any awards for innovation, but it delivers exactly what it promises. Pure, unadulterated, side-scrolling action. So if you're looking for a laugh out loud good time with a healthy dose of challenge, this Cyborg adventure is your perfect excuse to unleash your inner action hero, or maybe shed a few tears of laughter or frustration. Yeah. 
these are my personal favorite run and gun games but there are so many games out there some are really trash though but i crafted a perfect game list for everyone and they deserve all the love if you have made this far and check out my previous episode about top 10 beat em ups on nintendo switch thank you so much for watching